education and they have to talk about business. And what are some of the common problems that stem from the lack of sex or no sex? You see, I want to caution the women who think when you find a thick tall man, it means that he has a strong, strong, heavy and nice and long dick. No. No. If you, you see a thick tall man, because he's thick tall, you start to say, ah, this man is spending to be nice and enjoyable. What? Don't be deceived. I know there are some men who are thick tall. And there's something like this hanging there. <laughs> something like this hanging there. So if you are a woman and you are judging a man because of his size, the size of his body, uh, I mean, that's the only kind of man that I want. And you get on the bed and he's looking for where he placed his penis. He can't even find it. He can't find it. So the bedmatics become a disaster right from day one. I know women who have run away at the honeymoon. Wow. You know, that's why I'm one of the Christians who think Listen to me. I'm a woman of God. I'm a pastor. The name of my church is Authority Bible Church. We meet at La Palm Royal Beach Hotel every Sunday at 3 p.m. You are invited. I am one of the women of God who thinks that before you marry a man, you must see his penis. You must see it. You must hold it. You must feel it and make sure it's working. Uh, why are you being like uncomfortable like that? No, I, I, I want to make a Let well, me take a cup of tea. <laughs> yes, you do. Let me drink water. Me, me, pa, Thank I you, Awe. Me, first, I give a great sinner when you know. Davio. I have seen women who go for honeymoon, and the night of the honeymoon, one of the women ran and left her shoes. She left her shoes. Because what she saw was too much for her to handle. Oh my God, she can't take it. But yeah, but Auntie Nana, wouldn't that just break the foundation of a couple going for counselling? Doesn't the Bible say, "Do not have sex"? I never said have sex. Auntie, just I it. never said have sex. Won't it arouse them? Arouse what? The man. It will save you from divorce. So you have to choose. Do you want to marry something you don't want, you don't like, you don't know? And then the next week you divorce? Answer that question, no. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. And I'm talking from experience. Okay. Uh, and then how about the how about the men? They're also going to the marriage expecting something and then they go and find something else about the woman through the anatomy. Oh, women in India it's easy to deal with it because it's just a hole. <laughs> women is easy to deal with it. And the women you you know, the the best thing you can you can do is to Educate her on how you want your sex. Educate her. I want this style. I want it that way. I want it big, big, big. I want it small. I want it slow. My husband is here. He knows everything. I'm not dictating anything. You talk about it. The man needs to tell you how he wants to be handled. And you must also tell him how you want to be handled. Otherwise, who makes it a robot? Okay. I mean, come on. Okay. about their sex life. Pastors are human beings. Some of them are giddy giddy. Some of them are boko boko. Huh? Uh, who is 
always crying, in pain. Unless the person doesn't love you. If your husband loves you, your pain is his pain. How do you expect a woman, especially a career woman, right now we have all these career women, like we go out and we come back and we are as exhausted as a man. Valerie, you, I'm sure you are up like 4 a.m. 3.30. So how does, if, if you are living with your husband, how does he expect you to make breakfast for him? It's not going to happen. Breakfast is on GTV. Unless he wants to come and have a wait, we'll give him. So you have to be realistic. My husband always makes breakfast for me in bed. Because that is his strength. There are other things that he doesn't do well. You understand? But what he does well, I appreciate it. So look at your spouse. What does your spouse do well in? Appreciate that. Count your blessings and name them one by one. But what I see a lot of couples do, they are dwelling on what they don't have and what they can't get. 